But the Romney Ryan campaign's arguing that based on the vice president's demeanor, the laughter and whatnot, that they come across the grown ups in the room and that he didn't do anything to help you guys as I don't think they came on. across it as the uh, grown ups. First of all, that's a loser's lament, okay? But uh, I don't think it, uh, he, uh, uh, I don't see Congressman Ryan as looking like the adult in the room. As I've said before, I, I think it looked like the school principal debating the class president. Uh, you know, he came and he had practiced his lines, but when it came to actually answering questions, he uh, he had no answers. No answers for the $5 trillion tax cut and how they would pay for it. No answers for the $2 trillion defense uh, buildup. No answers for questions that were raised about his uh, his plan to turn Medicare, their plan to turn Medicare into a voucher system. No real response to why privatization of Social Security was such a passion of his. No answer for why uh, he thought it was uh, uh, he thought it was a worthy idea to send letters to ask for grants in his district from the Recovery Act because he said it would improve the Wisconsin economy and create jobs. Uh, and then he comes on stage tonight and he denounces uh, the program. Well, you can't have it both ways. And I think people saw that tonight. Do you think the interruptions, the facial expressions from the vice president detracted at all from what appeared to be a strong performance? I think Joe Biden is an authentic person. He speaks his mind. People know him. They expect that, uh, you know. And, and Congressman Ryan, as I said, you know, he, I know he, he's been rehearsing a lot. He had his uh, he had his his lines down at least his first lines. He wasn't so good when he had to explain beyond his first lines. Uh, but I, I think that authenticity uh, is something that people appreciate. Joe Biden is who Joe Biden is, and people know that he speaks his mind and he tells it straight. And that's what he did tonight.